Hey, hi guys, uh, welcome to PCF. Okay, so in our last video, uh, we have discussed about the group by and aggregation functions. Okay, if you haven't watched that videos, okay, I strongly recommend to watch that video. So in this uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about the string functions. Okay, string functions like we have uh, ANSI and L trim, R trim, uppercase, lowercase, length, reverse, left right substring okay substring and care index and pat index are very very important so the remainder will use okay very rare but substring and care index and pat index are very very important and replicate replace and space okay so now we'll discuss okay what is ANSI and where we have all these uh functions okay if you go to the um just a minute guys okay just a minute. let me on my machine okay in this databases okay if you go to the database okay so in programmability okay programmability or tables okay if you go to the tables uh, tables below oh, you have a programmability okay in this programmability we have a functions okay so these are the functions okay in that functions we have a system defined functions so we discussed about this aggregation functions okay we discussed about the aggregation functions and now we are going to discuss about the string functions guys okay so what are the string functions we have so you can go here and then you can see ANSI care care index difference okay uh, so length is left to uppercase lowercase okay we are going to discuss some of them uh, which are uh, important for us okay that we are going to discuss okay now ANSI, what is ANSI, um, you know, what is ANSI function, okay? So if you go here, okay, caps, okay, select ACC, okay, ASCII, -I -I, ANSI, open bracket, okay? If you want to know the code of, like, suppose a small a, okay, what is the small a ANSI code or capital A ANSI code, okay? So small a and then close, okay? So it will give the ANSI code for this, uh, you know, so 97 is the ANSI code, okay? From 97, how many? 26 characters, right? So from 97, you want to print, okay? You can declare a variable and then you can uh, print all uh, 26 um, a small uh, small uh, ABCs, okay? Small letters, okay? If you want a capital one, okay? You, you know, if you want to know ANSI characters, okay, capital. So you can go from 65 to 26 again. It will print uh, for uh, ABC, okay, like that, okay. It will give the ANSI code of that uh, letters, okay, whatever the letters we have, okay. That is the ANSI, okay. The next one is L trim. L trim means suppose you have a, okay, suppose you have a select, okay, uh, space, 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 something like that, and ABCD, okay then uh, it will have the place okay uh, when you execute this it will have a space okay it will have a space extra spaces from the left side okay you want to trim that uh, okay if you don't want that uh, you know, extra spaces then you can go here and then you can write l trim okay l trim uh, open bracket and close bracket okay l trim open bracket and close bracket it will remove the extra spaces okay it will remove the extra spaces and then it will execute sorry l trim a b c right so extra spaces a b c okay a b c a b c okay it will remove extra spaces okay just go and execute okay so earlier it has shown our spaces now it removed the spaces okay the same thing okay if you have uh, extra spaces uh, you know right side it will not remove right side only left side it will remove okay so, but that time, if you want to remove the uh, right side uh, thing also, okay, up, then we will go for R trim, okay. So, we'll go for R trim. R trim. R T R I M trim, R trim open bracket and then close bracket, okay. It will show, it will remove the left and right extra spaces okay like that you can go with the l trim and r trim guys okay like that you can go with okay so 
R trim and L trim will remove the extra spaces that may be left side or right side. Okay, you can write individually also, not a problem. Okay, you can write individually also, not a problem. Okay, so don't get confused, guys. Okay, suppose so I I will remove this uh, left trim. Okay, so you don't have any extra spaces left side. Okay, you don't have any extra spaces left side, but you have only extra spaces right side. Then you can go and you can trim that. Okay, so we have a table. Okay, in the table I have um, intentionally uh, I have written like that. Okay, let me go here and then just execute this one. Okay. Okay, let me execute this one. So, what are the table? TBL imply. Not this one, sorry. Uh, email, PCF email, we'll see that. <coughs> sorry, guys. So, let's start from. PCF imply. Sorry, not this one, just a minute. Yeah. In this table, guys, okay. So if you go here in this table, okay. So TBL person table, okay. Intentionally, I have given some extra spaces. I have uh, included some extra spaces, okay. See, some uh, if you see the first name, okay, in the first name, you have the extra spaces okay extra spaces even middle name also you have some extra spaces okay so <clears throat> to remove that okay to remove that uh, so even column so we have individually an uh, string okay the uh, separate string we are applying right so if you want to apply the uh, you know so if you want to create the first name last name and um, so so first name and i want to create the full name by using this okay place middle name okay middle name and then last name okay last name and then click okay so it will create the full name okay it will create a full name so for first name we'll keep uh, as a first name okay first name and la last name we'll keep it as a last name okay so all this okay all this concatenation is a full name okay full name okay and then execute it but it will have the extra spaces in the full name also okay so if you want to apply l trim and r trim okay so first we'll apply l trim on this okay l trim open bracket and then close bracket okay again l trim bracket and close bracket okay it will remove the extra spaces okay let me execute this one okay so it's executed extra uh, it remove the extra spaces for full name also we'll do that okay for full name also l uh, trim close bracket and then close okay so it will give the full name also see for full name also it remove the extra spaces if you feel okay some right side see this for this now okay here some right side extra spaces also there so that is the reason it's not removed okay if you want to apply okay so some ex, uh, r trim on this uh, things okay you can okay so let's go here and then it will apply r trim also okay r trim <coughs> r trim and then again one more close bracket and then execute it see so r trim for what first name you have to apply r trim okay first name you have to apply r trim so that is the reason so it's not removed okay so are you getting okay hope you are getting okay so extra spaces for what okay so you have extra spaces for so even uh, it's concatenated uh, without spaces also okay but uh, you should create a space for between them so there is a space parameter something like that okay but uh, if you want to remove the spaces uh, uh, front of this one okay for l trim also you have to apply so first apply l trim uh, each in each individually and then we have to concatenate like that okay then only it will concatenate perfectly okay so you understand the problem with this right so 
Next one, so we can do our L trim and R trim wherever you have you have spaces. Okay, then upper cases and lower cases. Okay, everyone knows. Okay, upper case and lower case. Okay, this is a small, uh, uh, you know, string functions. Okay, so when we have the small cases, okay, something like uh, a small thing, something like a b and c and d. Okay, something like this you have. Okay, but you want to convert into lower case. Okay. So just write type lower and then open bracket and then give a string, okay, string or column name, okay. So it will convert into lower case, okay. So lower cases, okay. If you want to see this, okay, uh, TBL, okay, TBL uh, from TBL person table, suppose any one of the column you want to see the lower case, then you can, okay, first name or last name, you want, which one you want to see the lower case, okay, you can go and you can select first name. Okay, first name. Okay, so first name. You can take first name, select. I see. Okay, so double E converting. So then you will remove the double E. Okay, suppose you want to convert this first name into lowercase. Suppose, okay, so you have this one. Okay, apply L trim and R trim. Apply L trim and R trim. Okay, on top of it, apply R trim as well. Okay. R trim and then close it and also you can apply lower case okay suppose you want to lower so just to open bracket and close bracket as first name fn okay so then execute it okay it will so it will remove the extra spaces and then it will also convert the small cases okay upper case to small okay so if you want to okay if you want it's upper case again you can so again in lower on top of lower if you want to uh, apply again upper okay you can go and create upper also okay you can apply upper it, it will convert from lower to upper okay see so we'll enter this one okay and then execute okay so it converted upper okay so upper lower is very easy and then length okay so what is the length of your um, you know suppose uh, that email address we'll take the email address one okay so just try to execute this okay so you want to know the length of each email address okay just you can go here and then you can cut this and then okay so i'm just taking this into email address okay i'm taking that email address and then i'm length i'm just taking uh, i want to know the length of each email address okay then you can go here and then you can keep okay so length of each email address okay just it will give the email address suppose you want to uh, we said that you want to name also email address also just uh, you can specify email comma length of email address okay just uh, execute it okay so each email okay what is the length of email address okay how many so 9, 10, 11, 12, something like that. Okay, you have to count and then, so you will get the perfect results. Okay, it's giving the length of these characters. Okay, so length will means it will give the length of that characters. And the reverse, reverse something like it will reverse the characters. Okay, given characters, suppose, suppose this one is there. Okay, some ABC is there. Okay, so if whenever you write reverse, okay, reverse. Okay, so it will do the, it will do the reverse okay b c b a okay it will do the reverse okay so something suppose if i write um pcf okay pcf okay it will do the fcp okay something like that okay so it will reverse the characters okay that is reverse uh, uh, reverse function and then uh, left and right okay so the remaining function substring and char index and pat index we will uh, see the uh, next video but in this video, we'll see the left and right also. Okay. We'll see the left and right. Okay. Suppose select. Okay. Select uh, something characters. Welcome. Okay. Welcome. Okay. But I want only left three characters. Okay. What will come only from left? You want only three characters. Okay. Left. So left le ft left close bracket comma so how many given characters okay how many given characters something suppose 
from this is a welcome guys okay welcome or hello or something anything okay welcome from welcome i want to only left side three characters okay how many left side three characters means how many so w w e l okay this will the result okay well will the result okay just see that okay so from whenever you want to extract the whenever you want to extract the um, characters from given string okay you can go with the left okay it will um, extract the number of okay how many numbers you will give okay it will go to the from left side it will go to the right 1 2 3 it will go like this and then it will extract that characters okay right is quite opposite same like a left but it's a from right side it will do that okay so just go here and then select this and then okay so you can specify the right okay so from right side four characters okay come will come okay come will come okay so this is the about the some of the text functions so in next video we'll do the substring char index pat index and replicate replace and space okay those are very very important so even these also we'll use very frequently so left to right length okay l trim and r trim we'll use uh, very frequently in our real time okay but substring and char index pat index are very very important even interview question also but uh, even real time also will use more very frequently okay hope you like the video okay please share and subscribe my video guys okay so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe for more videos like on msbi and power bi and sql okay thank you guys thanks for your time